Good evening and a welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Let's first of all just take a moment to have some quiet at the end of another day. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O oh God and Spirit, and Jesu the three, from the crown of my head, O oh Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O oh Jesu the King, my King, O oh Jesu, do thou be my sheltering. <laughs> my dear ones, O oh God, Bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting in him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to read with a cat in front of you. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. <coughs> Excuse me, tonight we're looking at um, a verse from Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 24. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. When you meet others, you do you develop a vision for all they could become? though it's much easier very often to recognise people's faults. It's a truly wonderful thing though, to be able to identify latent possibilities. Scripture instructs us that it is good when you stir up others to meet their potential. The idea is to put them in situations that challenge their talents and help them grow. This requires sensitivity on your part perceiving the hidden characteristics that should be cultivated. As you pray for your loved ones this evening, do you detect a greater capacity for love and good works in them? Ask God to give you a vision for drawing it out. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 12 says, Since you were eager to have spiritual gifts, Try to excel in gifts that build up the church. Let's have a moment of prayer before we move into a time of quiet. Dear God, please show me how to detect other people's latent potentials and stir them up to love you more and serve you well. Amen.
let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesu, Son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesu, Son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesu, Son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much again for joining me tonight and for continuing to join me. Probably it's over two years now. I pray that God will give you a good rest. Please take care of yourselves and those around you. Good night and God bless you.